morning, everybody. Welcome to a, uh, what are they, people call this the two-take. The yeah, two-take. sure. Two-take, yeah. dual-take, whatever. Um, we are sitting in the 2021 uh, Mini Cooper, John Cooper Works GP. So the most, the most Mini of the Minis, the mostest. It's really a Mini Nerds fantasy build, this thing. It kind of is, it's right? the ultimate Mini Nerd car. In 06, when these things first came out, the first GP, they made a big ceremony out of delivering them with, like, everyone went to the same place and got them. It was a big deal. Well, the second one was super limited. They only made 2,000 in the world. Yeah. And, like, brought, I think, 300 here or 500 or something like that. Yeah. So it's this is the next iteration. The last one was in 2013, I think, 2016. Yes, we drove that one. We did. We went very, very fast. It looked very, very nice. This one... Uh, is actually lighter than that car. Really? But yeah, by like 100 pounds. <clears throat> this is like 2650, but this is a few inches bigger in every direction as you'd expect because every new car has to be bigger than the last one. It's got a people big complain. fat schnoz. It's, well, it has a, it's got a big giant engine. What what size engine did your Mini have? Is it 1.6? It one, yeah, so 1.6 1. supercharged. So this is a two liter turbo Yeah. with 300 horsepower, which is Almost a hundred more than the last GP, yeah, and uh, quite a bit more than the JC, the regular JCW, also, and uh, that's why it looks like such a crazy extrovert. It looks, <laughs> uh, yeah, the glued-on carbon panels are crazy. I don't, I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you think of them. I think they look ridiculous. I think they look like the packing material that you surround a TV with when you put <laughs> it in a box so that it doesn't fall over, like. I think this was shipped in a tiny shoebox, and they left those it's hilarious. on. Hilarious. Um, Mini says that they they help with aero. They're also wider to uh, to account for the wider track of this car versus the regular JCW. But they look weird. Weird. Okay. So well, maybe they maybe they produce downforce. They they, produce... they do. They wouldn't. No one has a number on how much. They said they have some downforce. I think the main downforce is from it the makes wing on the back. downforce, but no one's ever driven one fast enough to find out how much. Well, we drove one fast. No, I know. We we went real fast, and uh, I think this has but a lower top. To me, what's amazing is how much bigger this car is on the outside than the R53, but that just doesn't translate to the inside. It's the same. It feels the same inside, right? It's which same. it, I mean, it's very roomy, which is great. That's what minis do well. But it doesn't feel yeah. Like I don't it's know. It's gotten what, quite where we large. It. They yeah. probably gained some in frontal crash protection. Did and you then, line up to do a launch or something? Is that why we're I here? I just figured we'd see oh. how she does. It's kind of subdued in here, isn't it? That's interesting. I mean, we're going very quickly. <laughs> it definitely feels like it starts to get going up around the top of third gear, you know? They probably uh, minimize boost and power until you get to the upper gears. Well, it's the torque steer and the low gears, right? Yeah. Oh, there, there's the manic. Oh, it gets manic. This thing gets uh, crazy. In tram lines. Whoa. Yeah, it moves. Even on a, I was on a real straight road earlier. And it gets a little, little darty, and darty. Drifty. You know, this has a lot more negative camber than the regular John Cooper Works oh. car. And uh, in addition to having the wider track, <laughs> stiffer springs, Stick stiffer uh, dampers. The dampers, I think, are really great. This doesn't feel it's as stiff. crashy or stiff as I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that good? You feel that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're showing now off. Now we're clapping. dancing. We're, we're, this thing goes like, this real thing goes. quick in the canyon, huh? It's very quick. I thought the gearing was too tall, but I think it's actually pretty good. Are you in third? Yeah. It has a pretty the gearing's wide okay. Arm. Yeah, it, it has that whole like. The brakes feel good. Brakes are great. Really good, like 14.2 inch Brembo's in the front. 14 inch Brembo's yeah. on a Mini? Yeah. Wow. What does this thing weigh? 26.50. Oh my God, 14 inch brakes on a 2600 pound car. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's where your money's going. That's definitely where your money's going. That's awesome. Uh, the regular JCW has Brembo's also, but these are beefed up a little bit. It, it bums me out that this thing isn't manual. That gear shift wasn't great. Oh, well, that brings us to the transmission. So Auto only, huh? Auto only uh, because, you know, the oops, squirrel. Missed it. Live? Yes. Live. Squirrel okay. is alive. Same, I think it's the same transmission you get in the uh, Countryman All 4 and the M235 because it's the same engine as you get in the M235i now. Uh, they said this is the only automatic they could find that would handle the front wheel drive power. It's that, just not quick enough. That excuse has he continues to come up. Because <laughs> I think it's one 
that no one who doesn't work there can argue against, yeah, right? I, 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 who am I to go? Well, that's no, not true. I, I made a stronger one. You see how narrow the road gets right really there? It's about four feet wide right there. This section right here is the prettiest. This is amazing. This is a great little You can drive right off a cliff here. But listen, the transmission is not, look, breaking into two. There's a hesitation. Yeah. And no, it's, it yeah. needs to, if you're going to saddle the GP with, a, with paddles, it's got to be a DCT or it's got to be something really, right. really, really responsive. Because when you go that downshift you just went for there, that was a slush box downshift. Yeah. And even when I'm under hard braking, you know, it does it. I thought it was reading my driving, but it's still like, look, we'll go brake, downshift, downshift. Oh, that's a little, terrible. And, and the gauge, that's as we said on our on the podcast, uh, the gauge jumps before the gear. <laughs> that's funny. So they've cheated it. So the, the digital gauge indicates a, a couple tenths of a second totally. early that it's given you the gear. Yeah. That's and I, hilarious. And I couldn't. I did it at slow speeds, medium speeds, high speed braking, and it did it all the time. Yep. So it wasn't, it wasn't me being. I couldn't replicate something like I'm being too gentle on the brakes, and that's why it's not downshifting fast. Stuck How you doing, guys? That oh, man, is that the coolest is a, beard. That guy is. That's Grizzly right there. That dude. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. So far, I'm impressed with the pace. I'm impressed with the ride, mm -hmm. and I'm Absolutely. impressed with the brakes. I'm not impressed with the sound, which is blah. Yeah, it's very blah. There's no burble, there's no there's no nothing. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the gearbox. A little burnout. <laughs> is that a little front wheel drive spinny spin? Yeah, and uh, it doesn't feel, you know, once you start going fast, I think the whole, the chassis and the suspension makes it feel smaller, even though it's a bigger car. But, as you okay, said, it's bigger on the outside, but the inside's the same. Yeah. Well, I all, I just think the proportion, the, the 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 styling from the center of the front wheel forward is absolutely ungainly and terrible, and it looks like they <laughs> it looks like they're finally building the Chinese knockoff version from a couple years ago. The proportion is just wrong. All right. Isn't this road rad? This road's amazing. This road is something else. This is else, a really good road. I think uh, I think you should have a turn though because you are the uh, the experienced GP owner. Or sorry, JCW uh, owner, JCW right? JCW owner. Yeah, well, it was 14 years ago at this point, but sure. All right, we'll find a place to pull over and coming around this switch thing. on the right. There's uh, right in front at the base of that tree there. Oh no. I mean, I bet on a road course, I bet this thing is very fast. It's probably really good like, on track, yeah. It's, you know, 300 horsepower, 330 torque is, that's a lot <laughs> for something that weighs for this little. For 2,600 pounds? That's yeah. a ton. Yeah, here's good. Can you imagine if the FRS had that much horsepower? Please, Subaru. These handles, what is this? Oh, it's manual seats. I would like to play a quick game with you while we're sitting yeah. here for the, the people. I'm going to turn the knob on the side of this seat. We, can you tell me if you feel anything? Yeah, something just happened. Turn it the other right, way. Right, something happened. My, a lumbar thing moved away. Now I think a lumbar is coming in. Okay, but that's it the problem. It takes an awful you, you lot. You think. You're not, like, it takes an awful lot. To, you can't really tell. This is, I hope the seats fit really nice, but uh, this, is a, right, right. this is a very nice seat, I yeah. agree. All right, so it's manual. Manual, you're in All GP right. mode. What is GP? What, G what happened? I'm in manual, and it just so upshifted. So if you oh. hit one of the paddles, then you're oh, in okay, manual. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, guys, this is my first time. <laughs> 3D printed shift paddles. I do like the look of the LCD screen. It's got this sort of matte finish to yeah. it, this anti-glare. It's pretty good. That I like. I had one angle, of, uh, the sun had one angle where I couldn't see it, but otherwise it's been very clear. Wow, real delay in throttle response. Super delay of throttle, very, very muted. You really have to squeeze on it to call up the wave of torque. If you try and micro-modulate by by uh, just stabbing, that's not gonna you work. You fall out of boost, right? Yeah. Does this thing have an LSD? It yes. must. It's got an LSD. It's uh, got crazy torque steer. It does. Even like, especially mid-corner on, on big sweepers. Dude, I was it was it was pulling around. The torque steer is not good, but I really <laughs> like the trail braking. Yeah, the brakes feel really responsive and precise. Was it this corner where Grizzly Adams was? Mm, no. A couple more. A couple more. 
see the yellow truck. Wow, when you, it's unbelievable when you press the throttle, the car just wants to straighten the wheel out of your hands. Like you really, is it that thing maybe here? It, it's almost like they took, they took a car that was perfect for B roads and now they've made it good for race tracks. Right. But they've taken some of the, the nimble kind of frantic energy out of it. The steering is strange. It feels like like the geometry kind of changes depending on what you're doing. It feels like a progressive wreck. Right. It's weird. It's a little it's a little numbish right. in There's the middle. Construction. And then it gets I mean I like driving because you can still you can place your corners really easily. I feel like I still know where each wheel is. Uh, the wheels are the lightest wheels that Mini's ever made. Really? Uh-huh. That's cool. That's helped them save. This is 300 pounds lighter than the regular JCW. More expensive, 75 more horsepower, 95 more foot pounds of torque. I mean, I will say that compared to the last GP, you it seemed to get even more. Like there's a, a bigger difference between the two cars. The last oh, GP yeah. was only three horsepower yeah. different. The last GP was the same engine and a bunch of weight reduction, yeah. really. And suspension. This, it's like at least you're getting the power for your money. Do you think? This thing drives weird, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's really strange. Like it feels like. There's, it feels like there's a committee under everywhere except the brakes. The brakes are so good, but when I give it power, when I input steering, when I try to balance it at the mid corner, it feels like every adjustment I make runs through a committee. Yeah, even though it makes torque down low, which is like a BMW-ism, but you can still fall out of it. Yeah. So, which is a weird thing, right? It's like it hits too hard, too low. Yeah. But you also have to wait for it sometimes. And that's like the, <laughs> that's a weird fault of turbos, or yeah. maybe just the programming. Oh wow! Did you come up here with a full tank of gas? Uh, I came up here with yeah, like three quarter. Because you're you're almost out of gas. This thing sucks gas <laughs> like crazy. You have gone through. This is a little four cylinder. You've gone through a crazy amount of fuel. Wait, what is twenty two miles a gallon? For the whole week. They must have a very small, oh, for the whole week, because yeah. right now I feel like we're getting eight. Do you think that, like, what do you think this means to the, the Mini's ethos? Like, like this big engine, big power. I mean, every car has to chase better numbers, so they're kind of stuck in that. I believe that Mini's have not gotten better since 2006. I think they've gotten worse. That's, that's just my opinion, and they're not going to really like that. But but the, the one that I owned, I've driven every one since then. None of them have been more fun. They've gone faster. Maybe they've been mildly more fuel efficient. Uh, whether they were built better or not is arguable. I don't really know that that's verifiable. But, but the engagement of that 2006 John Cooper Works car... And the size of the inside versus the size of the outside, they have not exceeded that yet. Okay, let's let's talk about this thing is really fast though. Yes. I mean, but look, it's so darn it. <laughs> like it torque steers road. at eighty. Like what? <laughs> what car torque steers at eighty? Because it's so powerful. Like the Fiesta ST would torque steer like in second gear. Yeah. This torque steers in fourth. I mean, this is making <laughs> how much? What horsepower was the Fiesta making? I think when you're the done Fiesta with it? was making about two. 40 and then about 320 torque. So this is making 80 more horsepower and possibly has a more aggressive alignment. So it's going to be darting around. I think, I don't know if the tires are wider either, but let's talk about the two uh, elephants in the room before we park. Uh, Veloster N is yeah. almost 20 grand cheaper. Is it That's really? That's $28,000 MSRP. This is 45. Yeah. And you want that, whatever the, the good package is on the Veloster N, there's a package that gives you like a better diff or something. Mm -hmm. You want that, so you end up spending thirty-five 30. okay, for a Veloster N, which what? is the same MSRP as the Civic Type R. Starts at thirty-five. This does not drive as well as either the Civic Type R or the Veloster N. Yeah, both of those vehicles drive better. This does make, or sorry, the Civic makes this car look like an introvert though, because that thing to me aesthetically is just. Too much is happening. It's See the it, turning radius. It's like what, plywood. The Civic? Or yeah, this? man. The, the Civic. The Both Civic looks like looks like a normal car it's drove a through a radius. plywood store, and it just got stuck. Like there's just way too many angles. But oh, it's a pretty good turning radius, though. Almost had it. 
Almost did all the way. But these are both super extroverted cars with stuff glued all over them. I think I think this is, if you're on a road course, this might uh, be a little bit ahead of the Velocer because it's stiffer and it's just more aggressive in, in the suspension tuning. Yeah. But like for drivability fun, I, I, think, I think the Veloster is more fun than this. Yeah. And Civic Type R delivers the same kind of performance as this, but it's more composed while doing it. Civic Type R, for how crazy it looks, it's actually like pretty straightforward yeah, in how it drives. That's true. It grips, it's not it's not a manic thing. No. It's fast, it's composed, it's got great tuning, uh, you know, from the factory. But it's not like, oh my god, it's crazy, it's gonna get away from me. This is like, oh, yeah. you know, you're like... Eh. Which, if you got rid of that completely, might take away some of the, like, it's hard, right? Like minis being right. fun and exciting and short wheelbase, like that's what right. makes them exciting to drive. Right. Um, Where do you just, draw the line at it being, it's oh, it's manic and that's fun, and oh, well, it wants to rip the wheel out of right. my hands. and maybe a power issue. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's neat, it's neat. It's the ultimate mini nerds yeah. car. Right, most power they've ever put in one. Yeah, um, but I don't really want one. No, I, I, I want to drive the regular JCW because I wonder if that power, just like two twenty, is the right one. Because I Maybe. still like these. I like the way I like the one, the regular one, the way they look, the regular ones. I think it's nice that they're different. They're round because so many cars today are just like really angular and aggressive. So this is kind of an outlier in that way. Yeah. How, but the only, the interior on this, you know, we have a. A base, base one over mini there. over there that we, our friend Turoed. The interior in this is exactly the same, except for this GP the dash, plate dash and plate and the seats, and the seats. Yeah, which yeah. is like and and this, which is kind of the gauge cluster. Yeah, I mean, these cars were always going to be very expensive for what you got. That was true in '06, and that's true now. Um, you're, you were always paying Focus RS money for Fiesta ST performance with one of these things. That, that was always the case. Um, this one, with the lack of a manual and the crazy manic torque steer, though, it's just kind of a weird car. It just yeah. drives a little weird. I think it's like I think it's turned into a road course car. Maybe. Because this, this thing ran the Nürburgring in under eight minutes. Oh, did it? Which of is course. like well, that's, yeah. C6, Z51 <laughs> speed. It's like, it is. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Um, so you and I want to go out on that road and drive it in in little zippy yeah, fashion, yeah, right. but we probably should have gone to Big Tahunga and carried 100 miles an hour through yeah. all these corners. That would have been weird, right? It? it would have it would have felt weird to go. That would have been but weird. But I don't know. Right. Pretty cool. Pretty fast. These paddles are nice. Uh, yeah, 3D, Those are three cool. D printed. They three D nice. printed metal paddles. Yeah. Are cool. All right. Pretty cool. Thanks, Minnie. Thanks, Thanks Minnie. For letting us have a go. Thanks, you guys for watching. See you later. All right. And remember. Always fight your tickets. Go to offtherecord.com slash TST or use code TST10 on the Off The Record app.